wow.
podcast of the series. Um, and quite a nice introduction into the story. So I'll read you the synopsis on the back. It says, The skin of a wolf would bring enough gold to feed her sisters for a month. Sorry, the first line says, Vera is a hundred. hundred. But the life of a magical creature comes at a steep price, and Vera has just killed the wrong wolf. Taken prisoner by a high fae lord, Vera learns that her mask captor is hiding even more than his piercing gaze suggests. But as Vera's feelings for Tamlin begin to burn through every warning she'd heard about his kind, a shadow is falling across the land, and if Feyre cannot fight it, she will lose everything. That's quite a, a vague kind of explanation of what the book's about, but I guess that's what hooks you in and gets you to come back and read it and carry on reading it, because the story doesn't move quite quickly. Um, and yeah, it's just... Is one of those worlds that a bit like Harry Potter's or I guess Lord of the Rings, Game of Thrones, anything like that. It's a whole world that the author is creating and it's just, it's always nice to read and really lose yourself in a completely new universe and
crime novel. Um, even with a, a front cover like that, um, it's a crime novel. Um, so the back is saying the body of an 18 year old girl is found at the bottom of the stairs in her family home. Only two people know the truth behind what happened. One of them is dead and the other is your son. Now that's all it kind of says on the back. It doesn't really give too much away, I found, on the back cover. You know, sometimes how you can read a back cover of a book and almost get the entire story laid out to you on a play. I found that that one was quite vague, which is quite nice. Which I tend to go down that kind of route when I'm 
also and go over maybe some of the other books that I've now read or have read after I've got around to reading. 